really quite proud of this log splitter. Nothing special about it, but, uh, apart from the fact that on Monday morning my son had never struck an arc and I decided it was time he learned to weld and uh, by Friday he'd made two five bar gates for me out of scrap angle iron and uh, this log splitter off the scrap heap. It was during the lockdown uh, when we couldn't buy anything so we had to use what we had and the only ram we had was really rusty and it eats seals. Now the log splitter it goes on the three point linkage and it's uh, fitted on these two A-frames which you can take off if you want to so we can use it on the ground to split very heavy stuff uh, and it's worked out just about perfectly. Uh, we had to use uh, some log splitting wedges uh, welded together to for the wedge but uh, other than that it was absolutely for free. We put uh, good long hoses on it so the tractor and the fumes are well away from the splitter and I find if you uh, rather than putting both female bits on the tractor if you put a female and a male on the tractor you always put the things on the right way round when you're not using the implement you can connect them together like that and just keep them out of the dirt. Now this is the piston out of the old ram as you can see it's horribly rusty and here we actually had to grind the pitting away uh, so it's hardly surprising that it gets through uh, seals fairly quickly. I didn't have uh, another ram that would fit it, the double acting ram anyway. But I did have a couple of these old uh, rams off a loader uh, which have the same diameter, a two inch diameter uh, piston. Well this is the uh, piston out of uh, one of those old uh, single acting rams has a snap ring, one snap ring groove in the seal end and as you can see uh, the replacement is far longer than uh, the original piece so we're going to stick it in the lathe and uh, see what we can come up with. So I reckon the first job is to shorten it so I'm going to grind a bit of the chrome away at the appropriate length and uh, uh, stick it in the saw. So I've put a bit of tape around it and we're going to grind this chrome off. I just ground the chrome off uh, to save the hacksaw teeth. Uh, these blades aren't the cheapest things. And then I mark round and round and round it with a centre square. The tool that every apprentice got to make and very few ever used. When you've uh, scribed enough lines you can actually feel the middle with your centre punch. Then I'll stick it in the drill press and uh, drill it with a small centre drill, put it in the lathe and dial it up and if I'm within five thou I'll be happy. So I've got the thing standing up in a lathe chuck just to uh, stop it toppling over. Uh, it's in the drill press. I haven't used this drill for probably 12 months. It's gone all rusty. Um, and the only light I've got in here at the moment is the kind provided by God. And he isn't too reliable uh, after tea time at this time of year, so I'm going to have to do my best. I could stick a dial gauge on there and go around it, but honestly I can't be bothered. Well, I decided that I uh, can't be bothered is a pretty poor way to uh, start any job. So I'll put a DTI on it and uh, I'm within a couple of thou now. And that's why I couldn't be bothered because uh, I had to find all those bits and pieces and uh, you know one of the binds of engineering is that uh, you nearly always have to make a tool to do the job. So I've got it into realms of about 3 thou. <laughs> which is uh, better than expected and certainly good enough for this job. Well the seal has uh, finally turned up uh, 10 days later and uh, so what we have to replicate is what is under this lot. 
it's an inch and seven eighths diameter blended onto that two inch diameter and it's polished to uh, work that seal in both directions just like that with uh, with a snap ring groove well I've just discovered a real annoyance uh, something that's down to my own careless uh, measurement in the first place and something that I have only come across uh, once in not before in all the years that I've been tinkering I measured fairly accurately the uh, inside uh, diameter of the uh, ram two and a half uh, inches to the thou bang on then I slung the mics over the uh, piston of the ram uh, around about two inches didn't really look ordered a two and a half inch by two inch seal uh, found myself a two inch uh, ram to uh, pinch the piston out of to replace this rusty one and uh, seal came so I just slung it on there uh, just for the sake of it really and it's not as tight a fit as I expected at all so I measured it and it's what uh, 30 40 thou under the two inches how odd measure it again it's 50 millimeters so what we've got is a 50 millimeter uh, piston in a two and a half inch ram uh, I did once come across this before uh, in a wood planer that I have down the yard, a 24 inch planer which has uh, uh, imperial outer and uh, a metric inner on the bearings. Uh, these things came from the transition period or from imperial to metric uh, and uh, anyway it's caused me a little problem because now I have the seal, I have the piston uh, but it means I'm going to have to uh, bore this slider out a few thou so that it fits over the two inch uh, piston. Anyway, here goes. And even more bizarrely, that is 50 mil or about 970 thou, 971. But this diameter here is one inch eight seven five. So that is definitely inch and seven eighths. So we've got metric imperial nutcases. How can you make something like that? So there we are. Um, I've got my diameter turned, I've polished it, I've got the uh, snap ring grooves in. I did have a, a real problem with uh, chatter while I was turning this. Um, I've got it in the centre, the centre is uh, a bit small and uh, it would have been better held in a steady but I don't have a steady for this lathe so uh, this is the way I did it. And now I have arguably the most difficult part of the job which is to drill a one inch hole through the end of the rod like that one. Always difficult to uh, get round things centred. We don't use this uh, big drill very often, uh, but on the odd occasion that I need to drill a big hole, it certainly uh, earns its floor space. So we've machined all the bits, everything's to size now, so we just need to pop it back together. Just like assembling a bike pump. Important seal. 
Then the backing ring. So there we are. A uh, little bit of work. Didn't cost anything. And it just goes to show that if you have a machine with a damaged ram, you don't need to go to the manufacturer and get that specific ram. Uh, if you can find a piston rod the same diameter, uh, preferably longer, even if you have to pay somebody else to do the machining, they can quite easily resurrect uh, the original ram. Well, I've just split some logs and uh, next time I might just show you how I make these log carriers. They'd be very handy. We, uh, we burn about two uh, carriers full of logs every night. Uh, this is tonight's uh, fuel. Next trick is to uh, train Rosie to carry them.